what's up what's good what's going on family so let's do a late night reading and this one i am going to title will they be back will they come back okay so this is going to be for sagittarius sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house placement guys very particular messages here on the mandula awakening for your ninth house but even with that being said guys just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest okay uh-oh losing stuff all right spirit let's see so this is for sagittarius they are wondering will their person be back the person on their mind that they are currently in separation from will this person be back to sagittarius spirit Um, I don't feel like that this person, whoever it is that you're requesting, if this could be a Virgo, this could be a Capricorn, this could be an Aries, um, could even possibly be a Cancer. Um, I do not feel like that this person will be back. I feel like that this person has detached. Um, I feel like that this person is focusing on uh, their pentacle world. They could just be focused on their family at this time. I feel like what Sagitt like the advice for Sagittarius is to like you know really just recall your energy, do some introspection, um, and I mean this is straight to the point. <laughs> just as a no, like I got the Ace of Cups in the reverse for the actual question: Will they be back? Ace of Cups in the reverse. Even though this person may have some sort of emotions to you, this person will not be expressing these emotions. Um, the why is uh, the devil in the reverse in the ten of pentacles this person has detached this person has um, I just feel like that this person has detached from this issue this situation I, I really feel like that this was a toxic connection um, and with the ten of pentacles being also here for their why I, I, I'm, I'm getting that this person is focused on uh, like they don't see like this person is focused on long term and their long term vision unfortunately at this time does not involve Sagittarius and if this is not focusing on the long term then this is them focusing on their family okay let's get just a little bit of clarification out here I really don't feel like we need more uh, but the outcome is the nine of pentacles and I do have reversals in this deck guys but for the nine of pentacles to be in the upright in the outcome position this is single energy you know what I'm saying I feel like that you're going like the outcome of this is you doing your introspection going within with um getting some internal guidance on you know what i do have this uh emperor in the reverse for what it is that sad needs to do like what it is for you to do and this is really do some introspection on how you like one we can say that this person was narcissistic possibly but let's not drown in that what I really want Sagittarius to focus on with these two cards is do the introspection like where is it that you show up in rigid areas? How is like there is I will say this the Sagittarius that I'm speaking to if you're not the masculine if you're not the masculine. You do pull, like, you're naturally attracted to dominating men that are controlling. You know what I'm saying? So, Spirit is asking you to do some reflecting on what is it about this energy that you're drawn to? Where does this energy stem from? And what is it that you can do to address it so that you can heal this wound? So you can't, so you can stop attracting this energy. Um, for sure. Let's get some clarifications why is the ace of cups in the reverse here the ace of wands um to the six of wands in the reverse um you know even if this person does return i i don't like I feel like that this person is going to be detached okay i feel like that you, if this person returns 
it's going to be because you reach out to them. It's not because they're going to reach out to you. I do feel like that this person is detaching from this situation. And if you do hear from this person or if this person does come around, like I said, I feel like that is because you've reached out to them. And I do feel like that it'll be sexual. It won't be a, a, an emotional, okay, connection. Why is the devil in the reverse here? Clarify the devil in the reverse, please. The six of cups, I'm um, the eight of cups in the reverse, the three of wands in the reverse and the five of swords. You know, I feel like that, um, <sighs> I feel like that this person is detaching, if I could be honest with you, because this person made an unwise, like they made an unwise decision to walk away in the past. Okay. But like, it, it wasn't the best decision. They didn't want to, like, I don't. When I see the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Wands in the reverse, the Three of Wands in the reverse is like a foresight. The Eight of Cups in the reverse is the inability to walk away, to truly move away. So this person, when they walked away in the past, it wasn't to leave for good. They didn't want to address a dis like this this decision, the poor decision that they made with lack of foresight. But this person doesn't even want to discuss this, okay? So they are going to stand on this. They are going to stand on this. So that's why they're detaching from this situation. Yeah, and moving forward. It's like, I, I, mm -mm, I don't like. Show me the five of swords. Yeah, the six of swords. It's like, um, I, it, I'm going to move like. In order to come back or to address or deal with Sagittarius, they would have to address this unwise decision. They don't desire that. That's more complications than they have the energy to deal with. So they will move on to calmer waters. They will move forward. But it's not because they want to. It's because they don't want to address that that unwise decision that sparked the the split up, the separation in the first place. But it's so that's why I say if you hear from this person, it will be because you reach out to them, not because they reach out to you. And I feel like that the most that you can get from that is a sexual encounter, to be honest. Let's see. Why is the emperor in the reverse here, spirit? Why is the emperor in the reverse here? The page of swords in the reverse, in the hierophant in the reverse. You see, what I definitely feel like that there is... You know, I think Spirit is asking you to observe this person's, um, this person. I definitely feel like that you are being called to release yourself from this. But there's also this energy of releasing yourself from, um, I don't know. Maybe a tongue can get the better of you. When we get the page of swords in the reverse, they can be a little cynical with their comments. And that could really create for, you know, like you're like if Sagittarius, just this is only if it resonates. If you have the tendency to make very cynical, rude, sarcastic comments um, towards people that you're romantically involved with spirit is asking you to do some internal reflecting on that where does that come from why do you feel the need to do so because i do feel like that it it, it creates a lack of commitment in your relationships you know what i'm saying yeah, definitely. The Queen of Swords in the reverse with the Tower. I feel like I'm just going to be honest with a few of you all. I'm not necessarily... This is what Spirit is saying Sagittarius should focus on, okay? Um, but if I'm being honest with you, Sag, uh, this person, I feel like that you're being encouraged to set yourself free from them. They're not going to reach out to you. I, I would encourage you not to reach out to them, okay? But what I also... Moving forward... 
to get yourself more stabilized so that you can welcome in a more committed relationship. Spirit is advising that there is some rigidity inside of you and it really does showcase itself in the way that you communicate when you're let down or when things aren't going as you would ex had expected them to go. Your communication style is is it, it really does null and void connections moving forward. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for the likely outcome for Sagittarius? So we have the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. You know, I definitely feel like Sagittarius is guarded right now. And so I do feel like that the uh, for this situation, they're guarded like energy. It Like communication style, I'm going to be honest. I'm not. I'm just going to be honest. Communication style is part of the reason why this person is not reaching out. They don't want to argue about an unwise decision that they made. They made a horrible decision in the past. This person is well aware of it with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. But this person is not. They don't. They don't care. They don't want to have the argument. They don't want to talk about it. And they know that to come towards Sagittarius, they're going to have to have this discussion. Even if they come back around today and Sag is like, well, I'm not going to have this discussion. Let the first disagreement happen. This conversation is coming up. I know this person knows it's coming up. And I know based on these cards that it's coming up with the Emperor in the reverse, the Page of Swords in the reverse, and the Hierophant in the reverse. I know that it's going to come up from Sagittarius later on down the road in an argument. Even if Sagittarius reaches out to this person and like, okay, I don't even want to talk about the, I don't want to talk about the breakup. We could just move forward. I want things to get better. Da, 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 da. Even if that happens, you guys are going to have some passionate sex. Okay. Passionate sex. Makeup, exchange of passions. No real emotions will be expressed because Sag has this desire to talk about this unwise decision that happened in the past. So to prevent that desire to have that conversation coming up, Sag is going to start to withhold and just going to restrict their growth, keep themselves small. And this person isn't going to be expressing their emotions because I'm telling you, this person is already detached. I hate to see. I don't even want to get in here to see what the unwise decision was in the past. That's why I didn't even try to clarify the three of wands. I don't want to know. But now I didn't even five of cups the five of wands to the two of cups in the reverse. You know, Sag, I do. I feel like that Sag, I feel like that you're guarded, okay? I feel like that you are I, I do feel like that you're guarded against not wanting to be the one only one given into this situation um i feel like that even if you reach out to them you're gonna feel like you're the only one reaching out to them or you're always putting in the work and there's an imbalance here Show me the hermit in the reverse. I mean, show me the hermit in the upright. The six of wands in the reverse. And the two of wands. You know, I feel like if I'm being honest with you, because this here, when I seen this card, I thought about this because the Ace of Wands, I'm taking that as you re like you would have to reach out to them. They would only be sexual. OK, this person would walk off with the victory and yet you would still walk off wounded and wanting to fight with this person, honestly. But why? The spirit is asking you to reflect on why do why do you feel like? you have to chase after these energies you know what i'm saying like you don't have to like when someone is showing you that they're not willing to work and collaborate with you and it's either their way or the highway it's time to get out of dodge i don't give a damn what type of environment i'm not going to say that 